Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining our Hawaii Bay team for Higan Service. Higan Service is a good opportunity to reflect ourselves and appreciate the Amidas with compassion. Fortunately, today's speaker is Reverend Masanari Yamagishi. He is a headquarters minister. So now, Let's start the service. At first, Vandana Tisarana.
Good morning, everyone. Aloha Kako. Thank you for joining us to watch the Hawaii Vaccine Online Higan Service today. I am Reverend Masanari Yamagishi, a minister of Honpa Honganji Mission of Hawaii. First of all, let me express my gratitude to all the members of Hawaii Betsin and Rainbank Hagio and other associated ministers to allow me to give my Dharma talk to you as a guest speaker today. Thank you very much for this opportunity to be here. I am happy to share the Dharma with all of you at this wonderful service. Unfortunately, this is not an in-person service due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I am sorry for it. I hope Hawaii Wetsui will start to reopen for members as soon as, as possible. I remember around last spring in 2020, the new coronavirus pandemic had just started, and then it spread around the world at an unbelievable high speed. At the end of last January in 2020, I just was transferred from the mainland and arrived in Hawaii. Hawaii Betsy was closed and we had to cancel all in-person services and events. And we must stay at home and work from home. Around that time, I was also going to start the orientation program at Hawaii Betsy. But I had to stay at home due to the pandemic. And also, I purchased my brand new car last March. On the day, I picked my purchased car up at the car dealer shop. Honolulu was in lockdown on the same day. I didn't drive my car for my job and personally so much, even today. My car's running mileage is only just about 1,000 miles, even today. I was wondering if I was an unlucky guy at that time. However, I am here and now. I should appreciate it and all the members' support for the temple nowadays. Thank you again, everyone. Today is the spring Higan service. Higan in Japanese is a shortened form of Tohigan which literally means to reach the other shore. Higan is originally from Paramita in Sanskrit. It means gone to other shore, crossed, transcend, coming or leading to the opposite shore, complete attainment, perfection. In Buddhism, the world that we live in is referred to us this show, while the world of perfection is called the other show. Therefore, Ohiga means to cross over the other shore of the Buddha, from this shore of the suffering world. Also in Buddhism, the practices of the six kinds of perfection leads people to reach the other shore of enlightenment, the world of the Buddha. By fulfilling these six kinds of perfections, one can become the Buddha, the enlightened one. These six kinds of perfection are giving, precepts, perseverance, effort, meditation, and wisdom. It is very difficult for ordinary people to fulfill these six perfections. Shinra Shonin, our founder of Shin Buddhism, Jodo Shinshu tells us a way to attain enlightenment by reciting Namo Amida which is the wisdom and compassion of Amida Buddha. 
The world of the Buddha is described in the Small Appearance Sutra in the following. From here to the west, beyond 10 million Buddha lands, there is a world called the Pyramid. In the land, there is Amida Buddha. He is now, at present, preaching that time. This geographical description of the Buddha's world in the Sutra may be difficult for people to understand nowadays. If we ride on any kind of a vehicle and go toward to the west, we only go around and come back to where we started. So how can we understand this description? A famous Japanese author, Ryunosuke Akutagawa, wrote a phrase in the story which is based on an old Japanese movie, Rashomon. And he said, the difference between a genius and an ordinary person is only a piece of paper. Meaning, a diploma for a higher degree, but in order to transcend that piece of paper, people have to make an effort, like walking over 1,000 miles. Akutagawa's explanation of a piece of paper, like a diploma, and a distance of over 1,000 miles may give us an insight to understand the geographical description of the world of the Buddha. Myokoni Saichi Asahara lived in Japan about 100 years ago. Myokoni means the devout follower of Shin Buddhism. Saichi Asahara was originally a carpenter of Utten Kuok, or Geta. When Saichi was asked from his friend whether or not it is true that the world of the Buddha is there beyond 10 billion Buddha lands as is described in the Sutra, Saichi answered him as the following. The Buddha is right here with me, and the Buddha land is next to me. What does it mean? Let me show you my story here as an example. So I like going on trips around the US. I couldn't go on a trip anywhere last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I went on trips for several places around the U.S. two years ago. Almost all of the places were on mainland, like Grand Canyon in Arizona, Yosemite National Park in California, and New York. Those trips were all fantastic for me. I made some memories each time there. However, I always have one problem during my trip. Do you know what is it? Money? No, I like the cheap trip. Language? No, my English is poor, but it doesn't matter to go on that trip. Transportation? No, it doesn't matter for me to ride on vehicle or airplane for many hours. The difficult problem is to not eat rice during my trip. I am a rice eater and rice is my important daily food. I always search for a Japanese food restaurant on Google Maps when I arrive at a hotel. I need to walk around the hotel to find some Japanese food restaurants while holding the Google Maps. I often get tired walking to find the restaurant. In the second day of my trip in the state of Arizona, I couldn't find any kind of Japanese restaurant for my dinner. I found only a pizza restaurant. 
I ate some big pizza at that time while giving up eating Japanese food. That pizza was so good, but I still wanted to eat some rice after dinner. After that, I studied and learned I should bring some onigiri on my trip. It means a rice bowl in Japanese. Anyway, I am able to live without eating rice every day. However, I miss eating rice. I know this is the exact same thing with the relationship between the Nembutsu and us. As we live our daily lives saying the Nembutsu every day, we unconsciously feel something strange or missing without the Nembutsu in our daily life. Around the third day in my trip, I usually want to go home as early as possible. Even if my hotel is very comfortable, I get to go home soon. The longer I stay away from my home, the more I wish to go home. That's odd. At the beginning of the trip, I am excited to stay there. As the day passes, I wish to go home earlier. I finally realize that there is no place like home. This is exactly the same with the parent. I believe the parent must be the real and true home for us Shin Buddhists. I notice every time on my trip how essential and important the Nembutsu and the parent are to me as my rice and my home. I hope you will soon realize the truth of how important and precious the Nembutsu and the parent are the same as your daily food and your home. Maybe you are able to live a daily life without saying the names. However, I believe you will soon feel the sadness of your loss of the names, the same as your loss of your daily food. Perhaps you are also able to live your daily life without imagining the parent. However, I believe you will soon feel the wishes for the parents, the same as your desire to go home. Earlier in my Dharma talk, I introduced Byokongi Saichi Asahara's words as the following. The Buddha is right here with me. The Buddha land is next to me. Saichi's words tells us Amida Buddha is always beside you with the calling of the Nembutsu Namo Amitabutsu. So the parent is always beside you too. Saichi said on another occasion the following. How grateful when I think of it, all is by Amida's grace. Oh Saichi, what do you mean by it? Ah yes. His grace is a real fact. This Saichi was made by His grace. The clothes I wear, the food I eat, the food gear I put on, every other thing we have in this world is made by Amida's compassion, including the bowl and the chopsticks, even the workshop where I work making wooden clocks. There is really nothing that is not the Namo Amitabutsu. How happy I am for all this. Our daily life is a most precious thing which is given to us by Amida Buddha. I now know for the first time that our daily food like rice is most important to us. In the same way, we should notice for the first time, how precious the Nembutsu is to us in our daily life. We are able to eat any food 
as we like. However, our essential and important mind is to say the name, which is just as essential to us as our food. We can choose our house or home, however, our real and true home is the parent. Finally, let me read you the words of our founder Shina Shonitz. If my great teacher Honen Shonin was not sent away into a remote province by the authorities, how should I ever be sent into exile? And if I did not live a life of punishment, how could I hope to have the opportunity to convert the people living in the remote districts? This too must be ascribed to the grace of the teaching of my master. At every turn, Shina Shoni made good out of a bad situation. In 2020, we faced some difficulties due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our temples have been closed for a long time. Our daily lives have changed a lot. And those difficulties are continuing even today. However, we are able to get some new chances and situations against this pandemic. Some ministers and members told me that we had a lot of chances to listen to several ministers' dharma talk through online services, to take some online studying sessions by Zoom, and our family and relatives who live on the mainland are able to join in and listen to some memorial services and talks, the online services. We should learn that this pandemic is another opportunity to learn and spread the Nembutsu teaching, as Shinran Shonin did. Spring is coming. We look upon new decisions and goals for our future now. We have to go forward step by step. I believe we are able to see each other at the temple and join many services in person in the near future. On the other hand, we learn new ways to share the Dharma by using online tools around the world. So today is our spring Hiran service. We should imagine the Pyala in our mind and say the name Namo Amitabhs in our daily life today and tomorrow and forever. We should pay our respect and gratitude to Amida Buddha and the Pyala by saying the name Namo Amida Buddha. Thank you for listening to my Dharma talk. Let's conclude with the name Namo Amida Buddha. So please put your palms together in Kasho. Namo Ami Nabuts, Namo Ami Nabuts, Namo Ami Nabuts, Namanda, it's Namanda, it's Namanda, it's Namanda, it's Namanda, it's Namanda, it's Namanda. Thank you.
Thank you, Reverend Yamaguchi. Even these uh, critical conditions, please keep distance and safety. So I'm looking forward to see you someday. Thank you very much. Now I'm in heavens.